Hello everyone! It's good to see you again! Well, I'm not really seeing you, you're seeing me. But anyway, it is February 1st, and today is actually Clark Gable's 111th birthday, which I am ashamed to say I did not know, especially since I'm a huge Gone with the Wind fan, and I'm in love with Rhett Butler, so I'm ashamed to say that I did not know that. Um, it's also Lisa Marie Presley's 44th birthday, which I don't really care about. Um, the only reason I care is because she was Elvis's baby girl. So that's about it. But anyway, um, I'm in an exceptionally good mood, and I have been for the past week, and I wanted to share it with you and say hello. Um... I just started taking a new medication, and I think that's why I'm feeling so good. Um, it's really helped with my anxiety, and I feel like I'm stress-free, I guess. Um, I have an empty bank account, I have a $306 phone bill, and I can't pay my rent on time, but I'm not really worried about a thing. Um, it's funny, I just kind of was able to let things go that were bothering me and I'm I'm completely not worried about anything. I'm not worried about love or um, work or my bills. Um, I'm not worried about you know people bothering me and I don't get angry anymore either. Um, and it's funny I have not been able to stop smiling for the past couple days. I don't know why, but I just can't. I mean, I'll be listening to my music and I'll just start smiling. And I really am cautious when I use this word because it's probably been years since I have felt this way. And maybe I really don't know what it feels like anymore, but I think I'm happy. And there's really no reason why I am. I just am. And um, I don't know. I can't stop smiling. And I think it's a good thing. Um, it feels good. Um, but like I said, there's no particular reason. Um, I am very, very blessed. I have a job. I have a house, you know, well, an apartment. And... Um, I have really great friends and a great family, um, and I guess, you know, I just realized that, you know, I, I chose to stop wasting my time on people who don't care about me. Um, I am very um, private in, you know, my personal life outside of work, really. I mean, this is an exception, but I mean, I spend most of my time by myself. And, um, I guess I'm very hesitant to trust people and to invite them into my life. And, you know, when I do make the attempt to invite someone into my life and they just kind of walk away or whatever, I've realized, you know, it's not worth my time to waste the effort, um, or to think about them or just, you know, to let it bug me. It's their loss. And I guess, you know, realizing that, um, I don't know, I'm just stress free and I'm worry free and I, I guess I'm happy. And, um, so yeah, February is a great month. Um, like I said, it's Clark Gable's birthday today, it's Lisa Marie Presley's birthday today, James Dean's birthday is coming up on the 8th, and I'm a little disappointed because I don't think I'm going to have money for a birthday cake, or, you know, that's not the important thing. Um, what's most important to me is I like to put out flowers in um, the city that I live in, and um, people know me for putting out the flowers, I'm the Franklin Flower Girl. Um, but I don't know that I'm going to have the money to do it this year, and it's for James Dean's birthday, and I'm kind of sad about that, um, but we'll see what happens. And then Johnny Cash's birthday is on the 26th, so I'm excited about that. 
Um, cause I like to think I'm the man in black. Obviously I'm not a man, but, you know, it's the tough guy thing. Um, what else? Um, I've kind of made some goals in my head, um, like to what I would do, want to do in the near future and for this year. Um, I, in the near future, I want to make sure I get my bills paid. Um, and what did I, oh, it's hard to remember these things when I'm finally filming myself. Um, I want to get my violin fixed. Um, I played violin when I was in middle school and I also played piano and I have my violin, but, um, the pegs need to be re-glued and I need a new bow and I haven't had the money to do it, so I'm hoping I can save up to get that fixed because I'd really like to learn how to play again. Um, what else? I don't think this will happen this year, but I really want to learn how to play the banjo. I don't know why. I love bluegrass, and I was actually listening to bluegrass tonight at the park, and I was having a great time, and I was smiling. And what's funny is um, I have a silly story. I caught the tail end of The Woodwrights Shop on PBS, which is the show my dad used to watch when I was little. And he loves woodworking, and I used to woodwork with him sometimes, and we would make things. And I remember when I was little, that's where he always was, was in his workshop, smoking cigars and listening to bluegrass. And I caught the tail end of it and heard the theme song, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this theme song. And it reminded me of my childhood. Well, today when I was at the park, I did a little searching on my phone and found out the name of the song. It's called The Kildare Fancy. And it's actually more Celtic than bluegrass, but, you know, on that show they kind of give it a bluegrass twist. And um, I was actually able to download it on my phone, so I was listening to it, and I was just kind of cracking up thinking about it. And um, then my sister said something about... Um, remembering that and remembering my dad watching This Old House and he loved that show too and my brother used to make fun of Norm because Norm when he cut his wood with his saw he would rest his gut on the table <laughs> so my brother would do the same thing on our kitchen table he would puff out his belly and he would say I'm Norm and um, it was just funny, you know, I was remembering my childhood a little bit and I was missing doing some woodworking and now, you know, in an apartment I don't have the tools um, and I don't have the money or the place to do it and um, I don't know, maybe I'll find a man this year who likes woodworking. Um, what else? I would like to find someone to take me fishing this summer. I want to get out and go fishing a lot. I want to use my new Elvis lure. Um, well, it's not really new anymore, but it hasn't been used. And um, I just want to get out and do some fishing. I used to fish with my family a lot. I used to fish with my grandfather. And I have some of his old lures, so... I'd like to get out and do that, and I mean, these are just simple goals, but just things that I would like to do this year, um, and really, you know, that's about it, but um, I just wanted to say hello while I'm in this good mood, and hopefully this medication continues to help me out um, with my anxiety and stuff, and you know, right now, I'm just thinking about how blessed I am and I wake up in the morning every day and I have just realized that there are things in my life that I can't control. There are things that I can control but not everything I can and I can't control you know some of the people that might make me upset or whatever and um, I'm gonna need a new cigarette and um, I just you know, I've just let a lot of things go that were bothering me and causing me to be upset. And, um, yeah, lost my train of thought there. Sorry about that. But, um, really, it's just, you know, like I said, I feel blessed. I've got good friends, good family. Um... And I guess I've realized that 
you know, life isn't that bad. It really isn't. And God is looking out for me. And, you know, I might not get everything I want, but he's definitely going to take care of me and make sure I have everything I need. And um, I just, you know, have to be thankful for the little things. And you have to stop and see the beauty in things and whatever. And, you know, smile at people. And it's so weird because smiling isn't necessarily a natural thing for me anymore. And it's just so weird that I've been smiling, you know, so much these past couple days. But like I said, it feels really good. And, you know, I've just come to terms with the way my life is. And, you know, I'm not unhappy with it, I guess. I'm content. And this medication has helped me be less bored. You know, I'm able to sit and do nothing and be happy with that. Um, or, you know, just to watch TV, I'm not lonely. Um, and I've realized, you know, I don't need anybody to complete me. I don't need a man to complete me because I'm complete in myself. And, um, if, you know, if you can't make yourself happy, you know, you shouldn't rely on others to make you happy because if they can make you happy, they can also make you unhappy. Um, and I just realized, you know, I like who I am, and I like what I stand for, and I'm a very strong person. I've been through a lot, and um, I'm I'm truly blessed, and I don't think that I need to change for anyone. And I guess I'm content, and I'm happy with who I am. And, you know, with this new medication, I'm able to logically think about these things instead of having, you know, all these chemicals that are giving me anxiety and stuff. So, um, it's been really good for me. And 2012, you know, started off kind of rocky, but, you know, we're in a good place now. Um, so I hope that it's going as well for all of you out there. Um, what else? Oh, I was going to show you before I go. I would like to show you what's on my wall because I was talking about James Dean and Elvis a little bit and I kind of have a wall of both of them and I'd like to show you because I love it and I actually I never sleep in my bed because I never go in my bedroom um, I have this thing about I won't sleep in my bed because I'm sleeping by myself and I hate it I hate sleeping by myself so I sleep on my couch every night and I sleep under these pictures, so I'm going to show them to you real quick. So behind me on my wall, I have to move back a little bit. I've got Elvis and James Dean. Aren't they just looking very handsome? I think so. And then in the corner here, I've got Marilyn. So... I, you know, when I'm sitting here by myself, I'm not really by myself. Um, I'm surrounded by dead people. <laughs> but you know what? I think I'm in good company. So with that, I think I'm going to let you guys go. Um, hopefully, I'll see you again on James Dean's birthday, which is on the 8th. Don't forget. Um, and I can't remember how old he's going to be. I think it was 96 last year, maybe 97 this year. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, I hope that you guys all have a great rest of your week. And um, just a lovely time until I see you again. And I'm passing my smile on to you. So I hope that you pass it on to somebody else. And then we'll all be smiling. Um, and remember, you know, you can start out the day thinking you're going to have a bad day, and you probably will. Or you can say, I'm going to have a good day, and then you know what? You probably will. It's all in your attitude and how you choose to deal with things. And, um, I don't know. I guess try and make the best of things. Life just is what it is. Sometimes we can't change things. And we just have to accept them for what they are and do the best that we can. So um, I hope all of you have a safe week and weekend. And I will see you next time. And this is me signing out. Bye.